So with the information gathered here, with both our regional parts information and also our local retail level distribution location of Best Buy, uh, at least we find that Best Buy is willing and able to resolve some of these problems we're having with these appliances that we are purchasing and that are becoming unoperable after just two years or three years of purchase. And so it is well known and well documented within the nation of consumers. And so Best Buy is at least uh, making the forward direction in customer service and customer satis satisfaction. Unfortunately, um, we don't know which appliances are going to be the ones that are going to be de defective until after purchase. But when they are purchased and you need to find a resolution, take it back to the uh, location in which you purchased it from, whichever store that may be, and get in contact with the manufacturer of that brand and see if they have an authorization code so that the retail level then can charge the manufacturer and thus you won't be stuck with having an appliance that does not work. And maybe you might be able to do a, a switch of name brand uh, even though uh, the major manufacturers are four major manufacturers that have many, many name brands attached to a design. But at least we do have some assistance versus a uh, mid-range purchase and a very sure time thereafter having a major failure or a major component that's no longer available. And so hopefully this should be a, uh, assistance and in what direction that we should go in when we have these situations. Thank you. Uh, be sure to subscribe, leave comments, and thank you for your time. To serve you better, this call may be recorded for training and quality purposes. Thank you for calling our parts department. I need to get a control board retail price location for an LG refrigerator. The model number is Lima Foxtrot X-Ray Charlie 24726 Sierra slash 03. Okay, and what was it again we're looking for? The main PCB board. Okay. Let me get back into them. Okay, so that board has been discontinued. Can I get the uh, part number if it's still available, please? The part number was Echo Bravo Romeo 8380690505. Now, um, there are some interchangeable boards. I get leery to give those part numbers out because I've stumbled across more than one. These interchangeable boards are not the same hookup as the main board. Okay. So if you see other parts saying it interchanges with it, really scrutinize that board. Okay. Um, I've taken more calls from accounts saying the boards don't match the original board. Okay. It's almost like the ice maker kit control board. Unless, unless the uh, model number and the serial number and the, the date of per uh, the, the, the date of uh, manufacture all those three things have to match up okay well I think unfortunately with LG it's with um, oh, these interchangeable boards are definitely um, the most they don't they're not going to hook up the same it's not about the serial on that it's just I don't know why they do what they did with these boards okay all right. It's crazy. All right. It took me a week to find one that matched for an account. I really had to scrutinize boards to find a, an exact match. Okay. Well, I do thank you. Uh, can you tell You're me one thing? Welcome. While I, while I have you on the phone, uh -huh. can can you tell me yeah. if the compressor is available? Why well, I, I would gladly tell you that. Hold on a second. Okay. This is two hundred forty-four two eighty. I'm gonna go 
This flips over to the 801 universal compressor. And here we go with this compressor. If I remember right, mm -hmm. they don't make me. Hold on. don't have stock on that universal compressor. Okay. Does this one... They don't... Mm -hmm. They don't have stock, but there is another universal it crosses over to. Okay. Let me get that in here. They're making all kinds of universal ones that's crossed into each other here. This one's going to be a Tango Charlie Alpha 381 Five one seven zero six. This one is, um, it, it might require um, a software update or it might not. So when you, if you do get it and hook it up, okay. I guess you have to see if it starts right up. If not, then use the jig to get it going. Okay. Well, I do thank you. Mm -hmm. You have a wonderful day. Do the same. I know. Bye bye. Hi, this is James. Hello, this is Karen Armour. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm here at Best Buy, and I explained uh, your si your situation with your refrigerator. Yes. And I have a, a sales gentleman here who's willing to talk to you in regards to uh, options as far as just not having a refrigerator. Would you like to speak with him? Oh, yes. Yeah, that would be good. Thank you so much. Okay, here he is. This is Bradley. Yes. Hi, this is Karen. Hi there. Uh, I heard a little bit what was going on uh, with your fridge and everything. I'm sorry to hear about all that. Um, I let James is it? Yes. I let James know that there are there's going to be a couple options that we might be able to do uh, with that fridge being delivered uh, a little over two years ago. There's not much we can do as far as taking that fridge back, at least not without a return authorization from LG. Um, but uh, that's going to be my suggestion for the, that fridge itself. Uh, what we can do in store here is I can definitely work out a, uh, like some pricing on like a, a little mini fridge or like a, a compact fridge. Um, that way you can at least get one home like fairly soon. Maybe today we do have some in stock. Um, just to be able to have one that you can use uh, for what you need it for. Um, and there are a couple different options on sizing. And like I said, I'm definitely going to work... Uh, to get the price down as low as I can. Yeah, so that you're talking about like a temporary, like a mini fridge to use until I solve the larger problem with the big fridge? Correct, yeah. So like I said, I can definitely work on like pricing on that. I can get it basically as low as the system will allow me to take it. Um, just so you have something uh, in the meantime to be able to work for you. Um, because LG is the one that you will have to reach out to for that uh, that defect. And if they give us a, a return authorization code, awesome. We can put that in. Basically, that RA is a code that they give us that they're going to pay us for taking the fridge. Um, so if you get one of those, we can definitely uh, help you out and return it and take it and everything. But without that... Uh, yeah, he's working with a lot, and so I didn't get that last part of the that I need to send you. Uh, so if you work with LG um, and they authorize a re like a return instead of a repair, um, they'll oh. issue they'll issue you a code what is called an RA, a return authorization code. Uh, okay. And they basically you bring that into us, we put it into our system as long as it's cleared and everything. Uh, you can let them know, hey, I'll, I can like Best Buy says they'll take it back if they have an RA. Um, so we would be able to put that into our system. Basically, our company would charge LG for the cost of that fridge because uh, they're agreeing, yep, it's defective. We need to return it, but Best Buy is going to take it. Okay. And I'm currently in a little live chat with, uh, with LG, not with LG. And so I'm not sure what they're going to end up doing. Maybe sending that with a Okay. Uh, and definitely, like I said, I can still work on... 
Uh, I can still work on a price for like a mini fridge. That way you can at least have that to use for the meantime until they can send somebody okay. out. Yeah, uh, and you can, I'll, I'm going to send them with my card as well. Uh, my email's in there. There's the store number. Uh, I don't have a direct extension, but I'll, I'll explain everything to him as well, uh, to James, um, okay. to be able to, to get you at least in contact with somebody here at the store uh, if you have questions. Okay, so are you going to text me this stuff, or, or how am I going to get the information? Uh, I can definitely have him text it to you. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we'll give away a text for you. Uh, what was that? You were cutting out just a little bit. Sorry. What was that? Uh, the the service isn't too great on the James's phone right here, so you're cutting out just a little bit. So what do you need from me? Um. So I'm not sure how uh, things are working with James right now. Um. But if uh, it's something that he can bring the the discounted fridge to you, uh, if we want to place an order, we could do that as well. Um. It's really just going to be about how you're wanting to uh, to go about it. Because if you uh, are wanting to get the mini fridge, I can definitely, like I said, discount it, and we can uh, place an order for. I Yeah. Uh, so I'll I'll look through some options, and I'll be able to have uh, James text you that information, um, and then you'll be able to uh, choose a couple options. Uh, choose from a couple options. Okay. Uh, but the exact pricing, uh, I am not quite sure. I haven't gone in depth on that one. He wanted to give you a call to let you know what's going on. Um, so if you give me a little bit, I can definitely uh, figure out some pricing and everything for that. Okay. Uh, is there is, is there a certain like size or anything that you're wanting to uh, to get? What is that? Is there a certain size you're wanting to get, or basically something that you can just use right now? For the mini fridge, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I'm definitely going to look at the pricing as well. I'm going to get it as low as this, like the system will allow me to do. Um, Okay. Yeah, that definitely narrows it down. Yeah, I, I'll be able to. I'll be able to send a couple options. I'll have him text you a couple options. Um, okay. Because I'm seeing a few here, uh, I'm just looking at what we have in stock that might be available today. Um, there's a, a 3.3 cubic foot um, that's in between, like you're saying, the microwave and the the dishwasher. That's about in between there. Uh, and then we have a 4.5 that is about that size of that uh, that dishwasher there. Um, we also have one that is a, a 10.5, so it's, it is a basically a full-size fridge um, with a freezer on top, that sort of thing, um, that we could also get uh, today. Yeah, and I don't need the freezer because I have an old freezer in my basement. Gotcha, okay. I just need the refrigeration. Gotcha. So I'll, uh, I'll work out a couple prices here. I'll have him text you the options, and uh, we'll go from there. Does that sound good? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, the 3.3 the should definitely be able to fit, but the 4.5 should be able to fit. Um, it really depends on the layout of the, like, the seats and everything and how it all wants to work. Uh, but the 4.5 should still fit in a, a smaller sedan. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but like I said, I'll, I'll work out some options on the pricing here in a moment, and uh, I'll have him text you that info. Uh, and I'll have him send you. Uh, I'll have him send you my name and everything as well. That way, uh, if you come down, you'll be able to to find me a little bit easier. And if uh, if for some reason I'm not here, um, you'll be able to use my name to get that discount as well. Uh, I'm at the Jansen Beach. That's correct. <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, but I'll look into that. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to James. I'll have him shoot you that information, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, all right. So I'll be in contact soon, it seems like. Sounds like it. Okay, thank you so much. Mm -hmm, not a problem. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. So with the information gathered here, with both our regional parts information and also our local retail level distribution location of Best Buy, uh, at least we find that Best Buy is willing and able to resolve some of these problems we're having with these appliances that we are purchasing and that are becoming unoperable after just two years or three years of purchase. And so it is well known and well documented within the nation of consumers and so Best Buy is at least uh, making the forward direction in customer service and customer satis satisfaction. Unfortunately, um, we don't know which appliances are going to be the ones that are going to be de defective until after purchase. But when they are purchased and you need to find a resolution, take it back to the uh, location in which you purchased it from, whichever store that may be, and get in contact with the manufacturer of that brand and see if they have an authorization code so that the retail level then can charge the manufacturer and thus you won't be stuck with having an appliance that does not work. And maybe you might be able to do a, a switch of name brand uh, even though um, the major manufacturers are four major manufacturers that have many, many name brands attached to a design. But at least we do have some assistance versus a uh, mid-range purchase and a very sure time thereafter having a major failure or a major component that's no longer available. And so hopefully this should be a, uh, assistance and in what direction that we should go in when we have these situations. Thank you. Uh, be sure to subscribe, leave comments, and thank you for your time.